Welcome back to lecture 23. In this lecture, we will learn how to use parameters on Azure DevOps pipeline. Generally, login name and password are not included in the source files. Head coding should be avoided as possible as we can. For that, we can use Azure Keyboard to store some credential information. The data is retrieved by Azure Pipeline and used for deployment. OK, let's do it. First of all, we remove credential information in ARM templates. OK, done. Next, let's prepare Azure Keyboard and create some parameters including credential information. Please select Keyboard and click Create. And then please specify subscription resource group, keyboard name, and region. Please click Next. Next, next and next. Okay, please click create. Okay, let's move on to secrets pane and create parameters. Please click generate. First, a secret for SQL administrator login name is created. After name and secret value are specified, please click create. Let's see the value to make sure. Okay, it's a specified value. Using the same way, let's create the secrets of SQL administrator login password and Azure AD user information for SQL administration. In this demo, this Azure AD user is specified as an administrator account for Azure SQL, so let's check the SID of this user. Moving on to Azure Active Directory and clicking the user, we can see a SID of this user. OK, Azure Keyboard and four secrets have been created. To override these variables of credential information, we link the secrets and DevOps pipeline. Please click Edit and Variables tab. Selecting Variable Groups pane and clicking Manage Variable Groups. Clicking Plus Variable Group and please specify variable group name. Turning this option on and selecting Azure Keyboard we have created. Please click Authorize. After that, please add all secrets. Okay, let's save and click Link Variable Group. Saved. OK, next, let's add a PowerShell task to get secrets value to the deployment pipeline. In this demo, task version is changed to 1. Selecting inline script and please input the commands attached to this lecture. Saved. Please move on to ARM template deployment task and change the deployment mode from complete to incremental. To override the template parameters, please input the command attached to this lecture. Saved. OK, setting is done. Then let's run the pipeline. Please click Q and run.
Okay, completed. Let's refresh. Yes, we can confirm SQL Azure resources and this Azure AD user is selected as SQL admin account. Okay, the user can connect to Azure SQL without issues. SQL administrator login account can also connect. Okay, that's all for this lecture. Let's move on to the next.